Queensland Teachers Union represents 43,000 teachers and principals in state schools and TAFE colleges right across Queensland. And it's with their voice that we add to your protests our concerns and our dismay at the loss of lives in the Gaza, most particularly the bombings of schools, schools that were intended to be safeguards, schools that were intended to be places of security for those people displaced by the conflict in that state. We condemn the actions of any party that brings the lives of women and children, innocent women and children, uh, into disrespect and into danger. And we call on the parties to immediately cease this conflict and to sit down peacefully and to negotiate a resolution in respect of the Palestinian state and of the people who are seeking to live their lives uh, in the way that they should. I've got three words and many questions. These three words are boycott, divestment and sanctions. It has three simple demands. The end of the occupation and the dismantling of the wall. Equal rights for all citizens. And perhaps most importantly, the right of return of all Palestinian refugees. <laughs> Just today, we had our first, we launched a campaign against the Israeli product SodaStream. SodaStream is manufactured in the illegal settlements. It employs Palestinian workers who are paid less than Israeli workers. And we need to build the organisation in our own organisations to move that forward so that next time we're here we have the support of our trade unions all across this country and we join this campaign. The Federation in Scotland, the Federation in the UK, the Federation in Ireland, Norway, South Africa, they all have supported the Boycott Divestment Sanction campaign. Israel says that they are targeting Hamas movement who are hiding between civilians and they have no option but to attack and use Palestinians as a human shield to get to Hamas followers, killing entire families, bombing hospitals, schools and disability clinics. Now I ask you this, if, if Hamas was hiding between Israeli civilians, would they respond in the same way as they did to the Palestinians? Ahmed Baker, 10 years old. Zakaria Baker, 10 years old. Muhammad Baker, 11 years old. Ismail Baker, 10, 9 years old. Apparently, kids playing on the beach is a serious threat to Israel and to the world. What 